Hello and welcome to this tutorial. So in this tutorial, what we'll be looking at is how to create a matrix report. So a matrix report is actually an extended version of a tabular report, um, which basically it's called as a table plus a, you know, a tabular plus a tablix report. So <clears throat> if I were to just um, say it, it allows you to represent more aggregated data in a particular table, as well as having the tab tabular data features, that's basically um, a matrix report. So in short, it's basically how you would, um, you know, kind of represent your pivot reports or your pivot tables in Excel. So you have the X axis and Y axis and the aggregated data that represents the data in the cells. So let's look at a very simple example in this uh, demo. So I've opened Visual Studio. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just add a new item. Let me create a report. And then I'm going to call this report as a matrix report. So uh, let this load up. Okay, so I have a blank report right now and let me add uh, you know, uh, some matrix related features in this one. So first of all, let me create a data source. Um, we'll just connect to our typical adventure works database so that you know it's pretty simple. Um, and then let me create my connection string. Okay, and I think my instance name is SysRS Express. And let me connect to my AdventureWorks database. All right, so we have a connection string. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a data set. I have a predefined query right here. It's basically just joining two tables in the AdventureWorks database that is sales territory and sales order detail so that we have some data to work with in an aggregated format. Um, so let me just copy this query and um, I'll use AdventureWorks. Okay, to run this one and this is the data that we get. So it's nothing super magic, it's just regions and then the region codes, the territory and the year, and then you have you know, the total due for this one. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, this is the data set that we're going to use. We click on OK, so we have a data set right now to work with. If you go to the toolbox, there is something called as a matrix control. So I'm gonna drag and drop that and it kind of gives me a structure, like you know what should come in rows, columns and data. So what I'm going to do is I am going to just drag and drop the territory in the rows and let's see, um, I'm going to drag and drop the year in the columns. So now if you preview, you will get a sort of a structured a blank report right now. So now we need to fill in the data over here. So that is where the aggregation part comes to you. So if you just drag and drop the total due, you see that it has already aggregated for you. It says sum of total due. So that is basically, um, you know, a typical way of a pivot chart that you would, or a pivot table that you would create in Excel. So now if you click on the preview button, you see that, you know, you have the aggregated data and you have all the territories listed as well as the years listed over here. So this is basically a very simple matrix report. Um, you could however create more groupings into this and you could create a drill down report uh, we'll we'll look at how to create a drill down report maybe in the next tutorial uh, for now this is like a very simple and you know just uses adventure works database and pulls in a couple of territories years and then you get an aggregated version of the data so that's it um, this is how you create a matrix report thank you